so here we are in front of the new camp and uh, if you see here on the left side behind these trees there is a small cave and this is where all those wheat makers are they try to produce their own wheat and we need to take care about that but if you are going a little bit deeper here you're going you're going to see that there are some lizards here and some other other many animals that you need to take care of but uh, what i like to do first after i'm joining really in some of the camps uh, i'm coming here in the new camp and i'm going to learn uh, one-handed uh, weapon and uh, because here is a lot cheaper than all the other places and I will also try to fight this guy Lefty and uh, take his bow right now um, I will just go on the side try not to talk with him because I'm still not ready to fight him let's just learn how to fight with one handed weapon and for that we need to go and speak with Court. I think his name was Court. Let's just see about that. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. Of course. It'll cost you, though. I want 30 ore. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. That's a good decision. Before you can improve your technique, you'll have to learn how to hold the weapon right. Beginners often tend to hold one-handed weapons with both hands. Now you better not even start getting into that habit. it only get in the way. Hold the weapon with one hand, blade up, and keep swinging it. You'll have to learn to harmonize your weapon swing with your own movements. That'll make you faster in the attack. If you keep in mind what I've taught you, your fights will be more elegant and a lot faster in future. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some hits cause more damage than others. As a beginner, you don't stand much of a chance of making critical hits. But the further you progress, the better you get. Let's do the second level also. Teach me how to handle one-handed weapons more skillfully. Okay, you know the basics. Holding the weapon lower down will put more force into your first strike. Use the swing, remember? Now you need to use your body more. When you've struck twice, spin around. That'll confuse the opponent and put you in an excellent position. Then bring your blade across from right to left once more. And back to the front. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. So get going and become a real master of the art of one-handed fighting. So right now I'm level 6 and uh, I have 40 strength points and uh, I'm a master of one handed weapon. And I have this axe here that makes damage from 29. So I will take my chances and try to fight with lift Lefty. Thank you. 
here we are. So let's do this. So my strategy was always speaking to him and after Hey, just arrived. Uh, we need somebody to take some the water to the peasants in the rice field. Ugly, I try to this way you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? And I strike him after. Take the water to the peasants yourself. That's no good way of treating friends. I think I'll have to teach you some manners. The fight has been decided. Just take everything that he has and his bow, of course. You won't have much time to be sorry for it. You've given me a fair thrashing, man. It was a good fight, but now it's over. So. This is a very nice bow for this stage of the game, but uh, I don't have enough dexterity to use it. Now let's go and deal with those wheat makers. I will try to avoid the lizards from now because I'm not that strong to fight them right now but I will definitely kill them later here and and nothing else yeah so this is where they are let's see what's gonna happen Lost our way, have we? Korkalam knows about your little enterprise. What? Why are you here?
Let's just try to make this. Listen. I'm here to warn you. Corkalam has sent five Templars to finish you off. What? You can't be serious. They should arrive here any minute. Damn it! We have to leave! So, this is one way how to deal with this. Let's just try with another one. So this is the second way how you can do with this stage. Lost our way, have we? Korkalam knows about your little enterprise. What? Why are you here? To put an end to the whole business here. Guys, just go over here for a minute. Lost our way. Corkle. What? Why are you here? To put an end to the whole business here. Guys, just go over here for a minute. <laughs> yeah, better. Let's just try to fight them one after another. Lost our corkle. What? To put an end to the whole business here. Guys, just go over here for a minute. So one of them is down. I just try to kill another one. I think that this guy is gonna wait for me with the bow so I can just attack him. And this guy was. You'll be sorry for that. They've got one of our guys. If you I won't have much time swine. to be sorry for it. Let me just kill him. This guy too. Oh. 
So I will be on my way to talk with, uh, to speak with Corcolon and I'm gonna cut this video right now and continue when I'm gonna be in the safe camp. So let's Shame talk with Corcolon and the thing is I just, I just remember that I did this quest uh, wrong because I have been playing with the sect camp only a couple of times and last time was maybe 5-6 years ago and I totally forget that I don't need to kill those guys and that's why now I can't really finish that mission, that quest. Let's see. Awaken! What do you want? Regarding the weed production and the new camp? Yes. I can't find these men. I wouldn't have expected anything else from you. Regarding the weed production and the new camp? Yes. I can't find these men. I wouldn't have expected anything else from you. I've delivered the weed. Good. Get another task somewhere else. I'll be seeing you. May the sleeper enlighten you. So guys, this is probably my last video for for Gothic 1 because from now on all those uh, quests will be almost similar uh, probably actually 100% identical no matter what if you're playing from new camp, old camp or sect camp so that's why I'm not going to uh, post another videos for gothic one thanks a lot for watching and i will start preparing preparing some videos for gothic 2